What Wait, song is this? Were you writing a song? It's when you were writing in the bathroom. Oh, I do know that. I got that at the end. I recognized that at the end. I, I recognize the ending. What was that? Um, She's got eyes of the blue bluest sky. sky. There you go. That's you're right. Yeah, good. Hey, well done, Corbin. Thanks. Josh. Hey, welcome back to our stupid director, Corbin. I'm Axel Rose. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more cheese content. Thanks for being sure to follow us on the like button. Uh, I think it was was it Step Brothers? Did you ever see Step Brothers? No. I I can see the poster for the film, there's but I never saw it. A very funny recreation of that song. In Is Step that Brothers. John C. Riley? Yes, and Will Ferrell. And Will Ferrell, yeah. Um, yeah. But there's a funny, it doesn't include either of them. But an, other characters are singing that song in a car, and it's very funny. Um, does that have anything to do with what we're doing right now? No, not at all. Perfect. Yeah. Exactly what I'd expect. Bow! Hey, sing it! Today we got a... This is just came out on the National Geographic India, and this is boat racing in... Aramula. It's India. It's I believe this is the Kerala Boat Racing Festival, which we've we've, we've seen, seen a video of this. Of. Uh, but this is a just came out three weeks ago, uh, so it goes into a little. I think he uh, somebody actually goes and experiences experiences it, it. boat race. Yeah, we we saw a small snippet of it early on with the channel, and we've seen a we've couple seen things, a couple in things songs that's been featured and highlighted. Uh, but it's just released about three weeks ago on uh, National Geographic cool. India. So here we go. Celebrations take on different flavors in various parts of Kerala. In Aaron Muller, another annual boat race takes the spotlight. I've already seen one boat race, but this time I want an oar in my hands. You want to oar in your hands? I take the ferry to skip the city traffic, but the traffic follows me. It's a traffic jam on a ferry. I love it. They're like, white dude, up shut up. <laughs> They're like, don't wave at us, British guy. He's like, why is that white guy I waving? Out of the city and onto country roads. I notice tiny villages or Kara. People here learn rowing the way the rest of us learn cycling. Kara are where boat races started, and the Aramola boat race retains those traditional roots. Men who've grown up in these Karas may have migrated to other cities but nothing keeps them away from the boat race. Meet Satya, who works with Google in Bengaluru. But come on, Am, he's back every year training with his team. I didn't realize how big yeah, it is. this boat is. It, it looks is huge, yeah. Only men on the team. You can actually get about 60, 65 people. 65 people. Wow. And I hear, right, a little bird, a little mm. bird told me that you are like the team to beat. So you want twice the, the, the Bangan Trophy, which is the biggest one? Okay. Yeah. So the, there's a high expectation this year of another win? That's why these folks are really getting ready. Yeah. yeah. Are you, top team? Top team. Top team? Top team. Yeah. Oh. Are you oh. Are you I felt a shiver down my spine, that spine, like warriors, spine? you know, warriors. I want to ask, though, because this, this boat has got, you can feel the life in it, right? It's, um, it's been used a lot. How old is this boat? This one, I mean, we have bought for last uh, several centuries, but this got reconstructed a couple of times. Okay. So this, the last uh, was not expecting uh, that. was done about uh, 99. Okay. Yeah. They have so boats that are seven history. centuries old? So I think he's just said centuries. Men. I don't know if he said seven. These, uh, I think he said boards, centuries, yeah. though. I heard sweat. centuries. And sweat, too. Well, I'm sweating already, and I haven't yeah. even done anything, so... <laughs> and I'm told I can only step into the boat only in the traditional attire. A wraparound <laughs> called a mundu and a scarf called a neriathu. Stretch the muscles before we head to the water. Those are the joints, actually. Yeah. That you were... <laughs> How do you get on? 
it's so narrow. The in the water, you know, the laughs have temporarily gone, and you can now realize that they take this very seriously, not just because it's a race and they're training, but also the weight of responsibility for their community. And I like that. I mean, you know, preserving a boat like this um, takes a lot of effort. The boats are about 100 feet in length. Its stern rises up 10 to 15 feet. Because it looked like the hood of a snake, it came to be known as the snake boat. Have you ever done canoeing with a group like that? Or yeah, it's fun. It's more tiring than you'd expect. Not with a boat this big, though. Yeah. Every person in the boat has a job. The rowers propel the boat forward. Navigators control its direction. And chances set the rhythm and pace. Now that sounds like fun. But right now, I'm on rowing duty. Sunshine on my back, chanting in my ears, and an oar in my hands. What's not to love about this? We arrive back at the shore to a hero's welcome. I absolutely love that. That was brilliant. They made me feel part of the team, even if it was just for a minute. But that chanting, that tay, 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 tom, you know, it gets you in this kind of rhythm. It's kind of uh, tribal and powerful. What it does is it motivates the team, hopefully, to win. And I'm going to get this chanting right when I come back for the actual race and cheer for my team. I would have loved to have seen yeah. the race. Um, they were not going to let him in the boat. No, not for the race. <laughs> No, he's going to watch want, from the side. We don't want Whitey slowing yeah. us down over no. here. <laughs> yeah, those boats, they look old. I don't i don't think he said seven, but he definitely said centuries. He definitely said centuries. Which is insane to keep a boat for centuries. Yeah. Like, I don't even know how you would do that. I yeah. mean, it looks like it was literally a massive tree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and probably was. They probably cut, cut down, down a tree, tree and turned it into a boat. Yeah. Yep. Um, this is something I'm, I have no doubt. Just that we have stupid babies at least connected mm. with people that do these things. Yeah. At minimum. Yeah. Like they have a family member. Right. That there's a, I would love to just uh, like go on one of these boats whenever we get to go back to India uh, and we go to South India because we're obviously that's where we'll be going next time we go. Mm -hmm. uh, Kerala is definitely a place where we'll be going. Um, I don't, obviously, I'm sure you have to go at a certain time for the, all the boat right, stuff. Right, right. But yeah, that's things that, that's an annual boat race. So it only happens <laughs> once a year. I mean, I'm not that I have to do the boat race, but like, I just want to be on the boat and like feel it. And I, think I just want really to touch cool. it for sure. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah. Um, be one of those things that's like, who else has experienced this? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've done those canoe stuff before. But it's, and it's, it's so interesting because if I didn't, if I, so much of that footage, and I've said this in different parts because India is such a diverse place, but so much of Kerala and the southwest of India looks and feels and reminds me a lot of Papua New Guinea. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's, very, it's very, very tropical. Very tropical, very similar. Yeah, uh, And there's even been in some spots of southeast, like Odyssey and even farther south, that they've shown some videos of smaller tribal life. Mm -hmm. And it reminds me so much of like that. It's interesting, south and north as well, because the, the mountainous people in Papua New Guinea, what they do and how they live is very different than the people who live on the coasts. Yeah. Um, it's, just, it's amazing how similar we are, even without those people groups ever knowing each other exists. Yeah. Yeah. Really amazing. Um, and Kerala is just absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, I mean, we've, can you imagine? You all, it's always lost in translation on a video or a, a picture. Mm hmm We've been gobsmacked with videos. Imagine what it's like seeing it in person. Yeah. And I feel like Kerala is one of those places you, like, we were in, the longest we were in a place was Mumbai. I think we were there for five days. Five days. Five days. Maybe? I think so. I think that's right. We had a lot of, like, we had meetings with different people as well, and I, I assumed we'd need the most time there. But I feel like you need a lot more time in Kerala. <laughs> yeah. Because a lot of it is, like, you probably have to drive right. a, a really far, <laughs> right. a long a lot of time to get to certain places. Which is part of the enjoyment. As to getting to Mumbai, and you're right. in Mumbai. And you're in Mumbai, and you just go around it Mumbai. It takes a while to get places. Sure, sure, but. sure. But yeah, there's everything is so spread out, and there's terrain that isn't easily accessible to a lot of the spots. That makes That's part of the enjoyment, but it does make you need to spend more time there, for sure. Yeah. I would imagine it does. Um, anyways, that was great. Uh, let us know what other videos... And, 
any stupid babies in and around or from experience this, let us know. Let us know. If, yeah. Uh, next time we go, we can uh, pop a squat in one of the boats. Right over the edge. Oh, no, not, not poop. I oh. just want to sit in the boat. Oh, I thought you wanted to poop. No, I don't want to poop in the boat. Oh. Uh, I don't know. That uh, might be a kink. On a toilet would be preferable. I, I doubt there's a, a toilet on the boat or anywhere on that river. There might be, though. You'd probably have to poop in the river. There's actually a lot of uh, boat, uh, like, uh, hotels. If you had to like. do what we did when we went to the, 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 the Hula tribe in Papua New Guinea, would you have pulled a Valerie, or would you, would you have been like Valerie me? Means. So we were there for three days, four days, and the four days we were there, we were in homes that are built on stilts above the water, and to poop, you sat on a toilet, but it fell into the ocean beneath you. Valerie did not poop for three days. She held it in. She couldn't pull herself to do it. I did it gladly and enjoyed the long fall from release to when I actually heard it hit the water. That's what would why you, do? you never touch a brown trout. What would you do? Okay. Never touch a brown <laughs> trout. Would you poop in the poop in the water? Probably not. Uh, <laughs> I thought so. Uh, <laughs> and then you have to walk in it. You can feel the silty underneath in your feet, and you know that it's a mixture of both sand and human waste over the centuries. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> anyways, that was great. Uh, let us know the videos from Kerala, uh, boat races, any kind of informational videos we can react to down below. Just